We have breaking Patriots news, though. Yes, I was just told that. Hit it. This is breaking sports news. Powered by Valvoline Instant Oil Change. On 98.5, the Sports Hub. Mike Garofalo, NFL Network, says the Patriots have agreed to terms with linebacker Josh Uche to return to New England on a one-year deal. No terms, financial terms of the deal have yet to be reported. But Josh Uche back with the Patriots. Good. Yeah. Why, why meh? How do you think he played last year? I was just going to ask you. This is going to be my next question. Is he any good? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's harsh. So here's no, no, because I, I was going to say, right. I want them re-signing their good players. That was going to be my initial reaction. But then I said to myself, is he one of them? And it's kind of a toss up, don't you think? Yeah, so this is my issue with Uche. A couple of years ago, he had a good year. Yeah, and that seemed to be the outlier year with the 10 and a half sacks or whatever it was. 11. Exactly. Last year, he was down to, all the way down to three. He had three sacks last year. I mean, his production dropped by, call it 75%, 70%. He, went, he was invisible. In fact, Anthony Jennings became a little bit more of a factor last year when Uche went in the other direction. So now look, it's a one-year deal. I'm not telling you it's the end of the world. But honestly, this is, this is why I say you don't know what's going to happen with Judon. To me, that was a spot to upgrade in. So I'm focused on Brian Burns because I love Brian Burns. But the point is the position. Okay, somebody who can disrupt and get to the quarterback. Uche did not do that last year. Was this a guy you had to keep? And and the money's probably nothing, okay? It's probably nothing. So it's not a financial thing. I'm just saying I don't – the fact that Uche is still here means nothing to me. He he wasn't very good. Yeah, it's more of a neutral move. But I, 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 I did not need them to blow it up, blow it up. I'm okay with them keeping their good players. Now, we, I'm not sure if Uche falls in that category. But Hunter Henry does and Michael Wenu does. And Kyle Duggar does. I still don't get the transition tag, but keeping him, I'm all for. So I'm, I'm Kendrick Bourne, I think should be one of their good players. So like, I'm, I'm okay with all of that. Uh, and Duggar's maybe, you know, a notch below, but I'm fine with keeping the guys that got it and actually produced. It's just, can you add to it? Can you try and get better at every position, including quarterback? And it feels like at that most important position, they're not even trying. They don't even care to get better at the position. Yeah, and again, Mike, those guys that you mentioned, Hunter Henry, Awenu, Duggar, Aborn, I, I, when we discussed this yesterday, I said, I'm glad those guys are back. This guy, Uche? Eh. I, I know, again, I, I could, I, I, I'm not trying to be a dick about it. I'm just saying that he wasn't very good. Like, just because it's a name you know doesn't mean it's a good move. And I am worried about Junon for two reasons. One, it was a significant injury. Okay, he tore a peck. Like, that's not exactly a small thing. And then beyond that, he may want another contract. He may only have a year left anyway. Like, to me, they should be finding the next guy at that pass rushing spot. And by the way, since this popped into my mind, this is a totally off-the-board comment, so just bear with me. But, like, shouldn't they be trying to sign Barmore? Like, that's a big one. I haven't heard anything about Barmore, and he was a force for them on the defensive line last year, and he feels like – now, if they had told me today that they had re-signed Barmore, and I know he's not a free agent yet. But giving him a – torn it up and giving him an extension. Yes. I'm with you on that. Yes. Like, I'm far more interested in Barmore than I am Uche. I think Barmore is a significant part of their future. Anyway.